A weak back or a sore back could be a sign of a few different things. We're going to tackle these in our short flow today. If you're new to the channel, I'm Heather, and today we are doing yoga for back pain. This was actually a requested flow, so if you do have any other requests, please leave them in the comments down below. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I upload new free classes here every week. Give this video a like if you're excited to jump in and I'll meet you in a downward facing dog. Come to meet me in downward facing dog. Taking both palms shoulder width apart, walking the feet back, sending hips up high, and pressing the chest towards the thighs. Maybe take a few moments to pedal out the legs and settle into the practice here. Bringing your full attention to your breath. Bending through one knee, other heel to the floor, and then switching back and forth. Fingers spread wide and ears in line with biceps. Inhale, bend through both knees pretty generously here. And then exhale, root both heels into the mat. Great job. On an exhale, send both heels to the mat, uncurl the toes, and come to lie down on your belly. All the way down, forehead to the mat. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Inhale, chest up for baby cobra. Exhale, float the chest back down. Now on the next inhale, we're going to lift up the left leg only as we also lift up the chest. Inhale, chest up, left leg up. Exhale, forehead to the mat, left leg to the mat. On the next inhale, lift up only the right leg. Inhale, chest up, right leg up. Exhale, everything to the mat. Let's do two more of these. Inhale, left leg up, chest up, slight dip in the chin. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg, engage that core. Exhale down, inhale, right leg up, exhale, bring everything down, great job. Inhale, send only the chest up this time. And then see if you can let go of the floor, hover, tops of the feet on the mat. Exhale, bring everything down. Now take both hands to either side of you, down by your hips. Inhale, lift the chest up, hands up. And if you want to take it a little bit further, on the next inhale, send both feet up. Locust. Hold it for five, four, three, Two, exhale. <laughs> Great job, Vicky. Sending it down, shifting back, using your hands to press you all the way back. Hips to heels, child's pose. And actually take both knees out wide for this one. Hands come out in front of you. Chest melts towards the mat. Focus on your breath here. Now there are 
a few signs of a sore back or a weak back. Some of them might be tight hips and you just need some nice hip openers. Kind of release the muscles a little bit. And some, sometimes it's a sign of a weak core. So we'll work on that today. Inhale fully, all the way. Exhale, sigh it out. Gently use your hands to press you up to seated. Swing the legs out around in front of you. And let's work on the core. Shift your hips up towards kind of the front half of your mat here. Soles of the feet to the mat. Send the torso back in space. If you're comfortable with this, lift up the shins to be parallel to the ceiling. And if you want to take it further, lift up the hands to come to the outsides of the shins. You're gonna hold this for a little bit longer. And then on an exhale, roll onto your back, hugging the knees into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. Maybe give them a little pumping action. Kind of massaging the lower back here. And then rotating them in circles to the right. And then to the left. Great, give them one more hug. Flex through both feet and grab the outside of your feet with your hands. Open the knees out wide, taking them to the outside of the armpits. Flexing through the feet and gently pulling the feet down. Down to the ground, but creating, creating a nice little resistance here. So your foot, your feet are pushing into your hands slightly and your hands are pushing down. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw. And release. Bring both knees back into the chest. Give them a little squeeze. Use your left hand to guide them to the left side. Right hand comes palm face up to the ceiling, either straight out or in a cactus arm here. Use this time to really relax and focus on your breath. And know that with time and with practice and with patience, back strength will come. Bring both knees back to center and to the chest. Use the right hand to guide them to the right side. Left hand comes palm face up, either straight up, straight out or in a cactus arm. Releasing any breathing techniques that you might have been using.
bring both knees back in the chest, give them a hug, send one leg out to the top corner of your mat, and then the other. Both palms come to either side of you. Thank you so much for practicing with me today in this short yoga for back strength flow. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you again soon. Thank you and namaste.